Prince Harry is going to marry Meghan Markle this Saturday. No oh, way. Yeah. If I you didn't, didn't hear know, that. you've been living under a rock. There's already a flurry of activity as England prepares for the big occasion. Windsor is gearing up for thousands of vis visitors from all over the world, and security is ramping up across the city. Riley Carlson is in Windsor, where the anticipation is building. From Bunting to Busby's, Britain is all abuzz about the royal wedding. Windsor is decked out for the end of this week when Prince Harry will marry American Meghan Markle inside St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Their love story started with a blind date and progressed to a proposal over a roast chicken. Cozy night. It was what we're doing, just roasting chicken roasting and having chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. Trying to roast a chicken, and it just. Uh, just an amazing surprise. The country has embraced the couple. The prince, who's grown from a mischievous young man to military officer to charity champion. And his bride-to-be, the royal outsider. I think it's lovely. I think he's such a lovely man. You know, and she's lovely. Two really good people with really good values coming together. I think it's amazing. There are no official numbers on the cost of security for the wedding or the number of officers involved, but it's thought to be more than $10 million. From barriers to prevent vehicle attacks to police dogs on high alert, Britain knows how to pull out the protection along with the pomp and pageantry. At the end of the day, it is a royal wedding where two people have fallen in love and should have a happy day. We all want to make sure that it's a happy occasion for everybody. A happy occasion for what many are calling a fairy tale ending. In Windsor, I'm Riley Carlson reporting. All right, and remember, you can also watch the Royal Wedding Live as it happens right here on Channel 4. You don't have to go across the pond. Nope, our coverage begins right here on the morning show, 5 a.m., May 19th. You can watch in your PJs.